It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so think about the story, uh, your story. Um, let's say, just keep on th thinking about it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to ask you to come forward and uh, tell your story. Your story. The story that tells who you are. But before we do that, I want you to prepare that, that story. So I'm going to give you some time. Uh, I'm going to ask you uh, uh, maybe uh, three volunteers. We're going to play games and we're going to change the volunteers. We're going to play uh, word games. Three volunteers. Who like to come? It's okay. Doesn't hurt. Who like to come? No one wants to come. Should I po point you? <laughs> uh, I, I it would be grateful if I know your names too. Uh -huh. Could you tell me? Uh, my name is okay. First, my name is Song Ju. Um, my middle initial is Young. I'm a professor. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a pastor of a church. Um, my background is, you know, I was. Well, let me just introduce myself. But first, I was. Um, my first six years of life, I was in Korea. I was raised in Korea. Uh, from 6 to 20, I, I grew up in Brazil. And uh, from 20 to, let's say, 22, US, I got my um, college. Seminary, marriage, <coughs> and ministry. This is all, all for me. My 32 to 35, back to Korea, I was an uh, associate pastor of a church. 35. To 38, uh, Brazil again as a missionary, and uh, 39 to now, <laughs> yeah. California. So, you know, I have my background is I'm um, Korean. Korean born, uh, raised in Brazil when I was a kid. Uh, I came to the US uh, for college, seminary, and uh, ministry. Uh, I was doing some Yan ministry, you know, Yan ministry, English ministry at a church, big church. I, uh, I went to Korea for as a social pastor. Uh, I went to Brazil, went back to Brazil as a missionary, and here I am. Uh, from 39 years old, I don't want to tell my age. So <laughs> 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 now I'm here in US. So uh, my background is uh, I went to Manhattanville College for psychology major. I went to Princeton. Theological Seminary for called something called MD for to become a pastor. And then I'm going to Columbia Theological Seminary for a doctor in ministry. I didn't finish this. I, I need to do a dissertation thesis right now. So I'm done with the coursework. So this is my background. Uh, I am married 
one dollar. Sixteen, almost seventeen. Sixteen years old. Teenager. Panic. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's wonderful. But <laughs> and I have a, 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 my better half. My better half is my wife. She's my better half. She's better than me in many sense. Uh, I just wish I could introduce her. Uh, so you can call me Song. You can call me. <coughs> it's weird if you call me Ju. Some people don't feel comfortable because here, some people are very Korean. They, they, don't, they don't like to call by any first name. But you, I'm okay. In this class, you're allowed to. You, you, can, you can call me some. Or you can call me Sungi. This is how the Brazilian people call me. Sungi. Yeah. Because they, they cannot say some. <laughs> some people call me Pastor Ju, Reverend Ju. I don't like Reverend Ju. But you can call me the son. If you don't really come to the phone, you can call me Pastor Ju. Uh, okay. This is a good introduction. Uh, I quit uh, my ministry for 13 years. I've been working as a 13 years as a senior pastor of a church in, 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 in Serio, Serio. Uh Last May, at the end of May, I, 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 I quit the job, so I'm looking for another, uh, another, uh, another work, another pastoral, pastoral work. Okay, uh, I want you to introduce yourself. Uh, could someone raise your hand and just introduce yourself? You can come up, up here and just say from there. Just say your name and uh, where are you from. And uh, what do you like? What do you like to eat? <laughs> Whatever. And if you can tell a story, that'd be great too. Should we start from the from the Can I sit? Is it, yeah. is it okay? Okay. Can you introduce yourself? Okay, let's start from there. <laughs> Okay, Hyejun, how? What do you like to eat? I like I like eat, I like eating anything. Anything? Yeah, many, many kinds of countries. Many many different countries. Okay, she likes uh, international. <laughs> Good. So you're Ju also? No. Ji, we said? Ju Yan. Ah, Ju Yan, okay. And your last name is? Son. Son? Son. Son. Son, no, Son. Okay. Thank 
Okay. Do you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Carol. Carol? I'm from China. Mm -hmm. I come from China. I like Chinese food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <So>. <coughs> I've been here eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's it. That's it? Okay. I'm Yun Ho Zhang. I came from China. I've been you, here. Yun Ho? Uh, Yun Ho. Yun Ho. Zhang. Okay. I'm from China. Uh -huh. I've been here four years ago. Four years. Okay. That's all. Okay. Good. And you? Hi, my name is Liao. Liao? Liao Wu. Liao Wu? Wu? I'm from China. Okay. Yeah, I just, I've just been in Los Angeles like almost three years. Three years. Okay. <coughs> Good. Oh, okay. Um, sorry. Oh, my name is Tomita. I came from Korea. Mm -hmm. I'm living here 15 years. Okay. Okay. And, uh, my name is Sung Hyun Yoon. From Korea, is a thirteen year old just here now. Okay. Okay. My name is Sonia Lee. Sonia Lee. I came from Korea. Hmm? I came here from yesterday. You 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 came here yesterday? Only yesterday. Oh, only oh, only yeah. okay. My name is Jin Zhang. I came from Korea uh, <coughs> 10 years ago. I came here. Okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Ping Huang from China. Ping? Huang Huang. Ping Huang. Ping Huang. China? Yes. How long? Four years? Yes. Okay. Alright. <coughs> My name is Kip. I'm from Hong Kong. Kip? Kip. Kip? Kip. Okay. From Hong Kong? Yeah. Your name is Korean. <laughs> but you're from Hong Kong? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Kip. And you? My name is Dong Ju Park. Song Ju Park. Song Ju Park. Not Song. Not Song. Yeah, Song Ju. Not Song. Song. Song Ju. Okay. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So your Korean name is Park Dong Ju. Yeah. And you're from Korea. Yes. How long? Uh, six years. Six years. Okay. Uh, my, my, my name is Xi Wen. I'm from China. Xi Wen? Xi Wen. From China. Mm -hmm. Okay, and? Uh, I've been here for five years. Five years? Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Xu Hanjia. I'm from China. Xu Han Jie? Jia Jie. Jie. China. Long? Uh, I'm here six years ago. Six years? Wow. So we see here uh, like 60% uh, Koreans, 40% Chinese, no other ethnicities, no African, no Brazilian. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, yeah, I got to know a little bit of you, but I, I realize that uh, Korean people and Chinese people are tend to be very shy. <laughs> yeah, so it's very hard to, for us to tell these stories. Um, uh, and uh, I think uh, every every nation has stories. And that is, uh, I think uh, stories are very important because stories tell who you are. Um, and uh, yeah, how many of you are, uh, 
know, they have a different religion from <coughs> Christian, because I know that this is basically this is a Christian school. Is everyone Christian here, or do you do you, you have other religions? Can you raise your hand if you're not Christian? Not Christian? <laughs> is anyone? Uh, so everybody is Christian here. So if you're Christian, can you raise your hand so I can I can know who you are? You are you're not sure what you are you of all <laughs> religions. Buddhist? Buddhist? No one? Uh, Confucianist? No one? Okay. Um, atheist? Atheist is someone who does not believe anything. Atheist. Atheist. Okay. Atheist. Okay. Okay. Um, so the Bible is full of stories, and uh, the, 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 what we're going to do is for this two, two months, we're going to just tell the stories that Jesus told us stories. Uh, this is a hard word, but this is basically the stories of Jesus. <laughs> it's, easy, it's easy, stories of Jesus. This is... Uh, this is a fancy way of saying because you're a college, right? <laughs> so I have to say a uh, fancy way of saying parables. Parables meaning uh, stories that are parallel. Stories that you tell this story, but is actually talking about something else. So the parables. The parables of Jesus in the Synoptic Gospel is Matthew. Mark, Luke, except Rome, Gospel of John. So three Gospels. This is called Synoptic Gospels. The stories of Jesus, because John is very different and, and everything. John is a very different way. It, it, it tells you stories in a different way. It does not uh, go chronologically. It has a very different tone. So, uh, so synoptic gospel is actually Matthew, Mark, and Luke. The stories that Jesus tells us stories. But why are they important to us? So every story uh, uh, has a, a line, uh, has uh, a meaning that uh, you want to from you want to get from A to B, something that you want to transmit. But it also has a hidden this is not something that you can see it's hidden uh, A to B a hidden message the stories of Jesus are usually uh, tells us about one thing but actually it has a different meaning it has a something that is deeper something that has, uh, has a different meaning so today I would like to work on uh, how these stories come to us. Uh, yeah, I know that uh, Chinese, uh, China, ancient China has a lot of stories, right? I, one story that I really love about is a China, uh, that story about um, this old man who had a son, his only son. Um, and uh, this son, one day, um, he brought a, a, a horse, and they had a horse, uh, and this horse uh, just ran away from the house, from their house, the farm. And uh, so they were, the people were saying, oh, I'm sorry, you lost your horse. People are saying, no, no, this is, a, this is a terrible thing that happened to you. You lost a horse. And this man says, this old man says, no, it, it, it is not necessarily a bad thing. It could be a good thing, right? And then guess what happened? This horse brings another horse to home. And then people in the town, they were saying, oh, you know, you are blessed because this horse that you lost brought another horse. So you have two horses now. Uh, and he said, you know, Sometimes good, good, thing, good, thing, uh, good things that happen may not be so good. 
So the next day, uh, he had his only son. He was riding in this new horse, and what happened? He fell from the horse and he got hurt. So he broke his legs. Then the people in the town came to him and said, "Oh, I'm sorry for your for your son. Uh, your son got hurt. Uh, it is uh, very unfortunate. It's very sad thing that happened to you." And he said, "Sometimes sad things may lead to good things." And then guess what happened to the next <laughs> a few weeks later? <laughs> there was a, a war broke out, and uh, all the young men were uh, recruited to 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 become the soldiers to go to the war, and, and many of them would die. And uh, because he had a broken leg, he couldn't be uh, enlisted in the army. So people were saying, "Oh, so." That tragedy, that's, some, that's something that happened, uh, may not be so bad after all. And there's a, a Chinese character, I, I know the Korean people, they love that kind of Chinese character. It's Kevin Jima, right? There's something, a story that tells you that something that looks bad is not always bad. Something that looks good is not always good. Uh, there is always something different there. <coughs> I, I love this story. This is, comes from old China. Korean people have a lot of stories. Um, the story of Tangun, for example. We, but those are the stories that mold people, nationality. That, that those are the stories that make make people <laughs> feel uh, uh, patriarchal, and um, they like that. Uh, that they like they, they like that stuff, right? So the story mold who you are. I have a story. Uh, yeah, as I just briefly told you, that my life was uh, full of going from places to places. I went to Brazil when I was very young. I didn't know why I was there. My parents just decided to immigrate. I, I, growing up in Brazil, I, it was a very good thing for me. Um, these are the stories of my life. Everybody has his or her own stories. Uh, so, uh, so what is your story? <coughs> Can you tell uh, one, uh, one story that is tells who you are? Should I name you? <laughs> Sorry, then I'm gonna tell I'm just thinking. Um, when I was uh, five years old, my father got very, very sick. He was diagnosed. He said, uh, The doctor said, You know, you'll, you'll, not, you'll not, not, not live more than 30 months. That was uh, uh, 47 years ago. <laughs> and he's still alive. It's a story, right? But what does that tell you about this, you, you? Something, sometimes things does not happen the way we think will happen. So a story can be any story. Everybody likes stories. You know, uh, 
when you talk to grandpa, grandma, what do they do? They always tell you stories, whole stories. And you get tired and they forget that they have told you already and they keep on telling you. Maybe you heard it a hundred times, but you keep on hearing the same stories. Because they only have stories to tell. They don't have a future to think about. So as you grow older, you tell stories. And then you expect that your children or the people, younger people, to learn from the stories, right? As you grow, grow wiser and wiser, you the stories have different meanings to you, correct? So uh, let me just just, just practice. Um, I like to ask the three people to come up. Can someone come? I know you guys are very shy, but I'm gonna make you guys. <laughs> Otherwise, this is gonna be a morbid class. You know what morbid is? Morbid. Anyone knows what morbid is? Morbid? Like a death. Boring, boring. Okay, uh, the first person that I saw today was Song Eri. I saw her when she was coming into the class. Uh, Eri, can you come? You're too shy? <laughs> Come on. Okay, the second person that I saw today, who would that be? Mm. Actually, um, I, can't, I saw a couple of people. Tommy um. Park, can you come? Come on, come on. Guys, don't be too shy. This is easy exercise. Come on. Come on. Come on. Otherwise, it's not going to be. Okay. One of you, you guys. Um, Kyo, can you come? Yeah. All right, Kyo. Sure for kill. <laughs> and uh, I'm ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, Hyunjin too. Hyunjin. No. Ah, uh, Hyukjin. Sorry, Hyukjin. Sorry, not Hyunjin. Hyukjin. Can you go? No. <laughs> Otherwise, this is not gonna be. This is not gonna work. I need two more people. Uh, one of the new guys. Your name is Isaac. Isaac? Yeah. Isaac, can you come? This is an exercise that I'm gonna do. With. Okay, Isaac. Good, Isaac. Come on. You're the guy. Uh, uh, Son Juyang, can you come? Good. Yeah. So I'm going to say a word to you, and I want you to <coughs> give that to uh, Isaac, and Isaac will say to Juan. Okay? But uh, you don't, you turn around. You, both of you turn around, and I'm going to tell you this. Okay, Jian, can you tell me what you got? His mother. Mm -hmm. Good thing. It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So this is the original sentence, okay? My mother always told me to eat vegetables and fruit to be healthy and strong. Okay? So this is only three people, four people, actually, me, Akio, Isaac, and Jian, right? This is only four people. Uh, though the way that we are communicating, I tell him a story and he tells Isaac a story, and Isaac tells exactly to Jian, uh, uh, right? Jian? Jian, yeah. right? So, and, and, and the, the message is somewhere in the middle, we lost a lot of stuff, right? Uh, lost a lot of stuff. Uh, mother is there, as okay, she said, the mother. And vegetable is there. But uh, to be healthy, healthy is there. But it's, it doesn't tell me that my mother always told me to eat vegetables and food to be healthy and strong. So the whole meaning uh, changes a little bit. I have uh, two more things to do, but I, I sense, you know, it, it took me so, it's, it was hard to get these people here. I'm not gonna do all that, unless you wanna volunteer. Three more people? <laughs> <laughs> you get the point, right? Thank you, thank you. Applause uh, for these people. <laughs> Very great. Uh, so, oral, this is called oral tradition. Tradition. What is oral tradition? Uh, before there was a book and read, uh, writings, scriptures, the, before there was anything that was written, uh, there was always uh, stories can, can, get, can be uh, told orally. Orally means by mouth to mouth to, to people. And you know why? Um, I don't like uh, rumors. You know what rumors is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's such a, such a, Oh, he's uh, You know those, those rumors? Oh, bad. Really bad. Why? Because they're never true. They're never true. Rumors are never true. No matter how rumors they say this is a real real rumor, this is some real story, and they always say, this is a secret, and I'm only telling you the secret, so don't tell anyone else. And this person says to another person, you know what, I have a secret, and I'm gonna tell you, I am the only one who knows, and I'm only telling you, so you should not tell other people. And this person tells another friend of mine, wow, you're such a good friend of mine, you're my best friend, so I'm telling you a story that no one knows. But everybody knows already. <laughs> so rumors, rumors uh, are bad because they're never true. They're never true. They're never true. They never can be true because, uh, because then we just play. Uh, it, among the three people, the four people, they are already the, the, the real meaning, meaning, uh, the meaning has been distorted. It's not the real meaning. As a different meaning. So, uh, but but this is the oral traditional uh, tradition. In oral tradition, this is the only way we can know the stories. This is the only way we can know what happened because we don't really know because there was no written thing beforehand, and everything was uh, stories that was that was told by uh, by ancient people. So every story that we tell, even to people to, uh, that I tell, has a different version, right? It, I know that uh, the story that I told, uh, told you about the ancient China, um, and I'm, sure, I'm sure that you heard a different version of it because everybody tells you differently. Everybody tells you differently, and everybody has a different meaning, and everybody has a different interpretation. So oral, oral, oral tradition can sometimes, it's very difficult to say this is the truth, but the meaning is there, and we need to know the meaning, the meaning of it. Stories of Jesus, my father tells me the stories of Jesus when I was a kid, my mother told me different kind of version of stories of Jesus, but they all can be based in the Bible. So it's easy to find a way to counter, see what is right and what is wrong. 
Okay? You never believe when someone, someone says something until you confirm with other people because other people may have different versions. Uh, so, uh, so we are gonna look for uh, not just the oral tradition, but the stories, the parable of Jesus, the stories that Jesus tells. And Jesus tells the stories because Jesus has a meaning, uh, something that he wants to uh, he wants to tell us. Uh, so he tells us a lot of stories, a different story. And then uh, we're going to choose a different stories. Uh, next week we're going to talk about uh, um, uh, the story of a... The hidden treasure and pearl of great price. And, um, I was told that uh, there's no point for me to give you assign reading beforehand <laughs> because <laughs> most of you don't read it much but if you are interested please uh, read Matthew um, Matthew chapter 13 if you can read Matthew chapter 13 but next week, um, it would help you to understand the stories that we're going to uh, talk about. Um, so, we are almost about half of the class. Um, I, I'd like to give you five minutes to go to the bathroom if you need. I can come for herself. That's why we should try to avoid saying, saying bad things, right? <laughs> When, when you say, when A is saying bad thing about C to B, you're actually, it's your image, you're, you're, you have distorted mentality. So that's why rumors are not good. Do, 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 do you understand what I'm trying to say? This is, this is the same thing here. The storyteller, the storyteller is Jesus. When Jesus is telling about the stories, he's not only talking about the stories, but Jesus is talking about himself. He's revealing himself. As A is saying to B about C, it's not only about C, it's, all, it's about herself or her himself. So the storyteller, have, when you tell the story, you tell uh, the storyteller's interpretation. The storyteller's uh, understanding about life. Okay, let's keep on reading. Uh, where are we? <laughs> okay, the more we understand Jesus' story, the closer we will be to Him. Likewise, the closer we desire to be with Him, the more we will understand that what He is saying through His stories. It's a virtuous cycle. As Jesus observed, whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. However, for those who with hearts harden, harden is a stone like a stone heart, towards him, the parables might never be never move beyond being merely interesting stories. You know, if you have heart that is hardened, no matter what kind of story you tell them, you will not be moved. It's some, something like this. If you like me, no matter what I say to you, sounds good. But if you don't like me, no matter what I say, it's, it's gonna look bad. <laughs> True or not, right? It, it is about us. Jesus' parables require us to think, pray, wrestle, Wrestle means to shit them, right? To, to, to fight, right? And do some soul searching as these come down to earth stories give us a view into how the kingdom of God operates. When we do these things, not only do we see the kingdom of God, but like the baby in the mirror, the stories help us to see ourselves and the condition of our heart, own hearts, in light of stories Jesus tells. 
our understanding and our hearts are tied together. Yet when Jesus' disciples asked him about the parables, that they, they did not understand, he explains everything to them. They could discover the purpose of the parable by simply asking Jesus. Thankfully, we have not only the parables of Jesus, but also some of his explanations recorded afterwards. Yeah, we're almost done. Hold on, guys. The parables are concise, with intriguing plots, usually involving crises of some sort. You know, the plot, you know, the plot means the, the storyline has always some sort of a crisis. They always include a surprise from what we may have initially uh, expected. By the end of the stories, we are always felt to issue verdicts. Uh, you know, when we're done with the story, we have to tell what we think about what we judge, the verdict. Okay? However, the point of this verdict is not to simply say the right answer. It is to live the right answers. So the point is not always say, this is the right thing. This story is about the, what it is right. But this story is how we should, we shall live our lives. Okay. These stories, the stories do not end when Jesus finished telling them. They continue in our lives as we grow, change, and do life differently because of them. Jesus' parables were all. It's very. Who thought this reading was easy? <coughs> I, I just re realized one thing. <coughs> you don't like to raise your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized the second thing. You don't like to talk too much. <laughs> Uh, I, I just realized the third thing, you don't want to be bothered. <laughs> but I'm going to bother, keep on bothering you, because if I care about what I teach, and I'm going to keep on asking you to raise your hands. So if you don't like me, okay, it's fine. But I'm going to keep on bothering you. So you thought this was easy. It's an easy piece of cake reading. Anyone? Oh, I understand. I understood about 80%, 70 to 80%. Can you raise your hand? I understood only 50%, <clears throat> half and half. Thank you for all honesty. I only understand like 20% of it. Can you raise your hand? If you're not raising your hand, you don't understand anything? <laughs> Jim, did you understand? 50%? You didn't raise your hand. <laughs> Come on. Hyuk <laughs> Jin, right? Yeah. How much do you have to understand? 50%. 50%? You didn't raise your hand, man. <laughs> Isaac, I know that your, your English is a little bit better. No? Yeah. No? How much do you understand? Nothing. Nothing? Oh. Come on. I know you understand. <laughs> Don't downgrade yourself. Yeah. One thing I learned my, about myself, and never downgrade yourself. Okay? You're a valuable person, as you are. Um, and one of the stories about that, actually next week, we're going to talk about that, who we are, and how God sees us. I think it's important. Um, so, uh, wow, well, uh, my lesson plan was today, actually, was to know you a little bit better, so I was hoping that you would talk a little bit more so we will all know you a little bit better, but I think uh, we are just uh, Asians, two Asians. Uh, and Asians take a long time to know each other. So I, I didn't expect, you know, since I grew up in Brazil, I'm more Brazilian than Korean. Uh, this is side of me. <laughs> but anyway, um, but I'm hoping to, by the end of this uh, two month period, I don't know, think that I can um, interact with you a little bit more hear your stories. Now, I'm really willing to hear your stories um, because the stories is really important to us. Uh, everybody has a great, great story and everybody has a story to tell us. 
Everybody can tell a story of not just about yourself, but is when you tell the stories, there's something about us uh, that we, we always think about. So I'm just hoping to, I was hoping that we could have more interaction, at least for this class. But next week we're gonna do a lot, a lot more reading, uh, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna present to you two stories uh, if the time permits. Um, you know, we have two hours, um, but uh, you know, hopefully you will come a little bit, a little bit early. Try to come a little bit earlier. It's kind of bad. Sometimes it's hard, but you know, try to come a little bit earlier. I drive an hour and a half to get here. Okay, <laughs> so you have no excuse to be late. Um, uh, today I have to leave uh, at seven fifty. I, I got here at nine uh, twenty-five or something like that. But uh, but you are. I'm sure that you live near much closer to, to the school than myself. So, but, um, but as I committed this two months with you guys, I want this to have fun. Uh, and I, 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 I was just, uh, uh, regarding this, the parables of Jesus, I'm gonna just talk a little bit so you can, uh, you can learn uh, the stories. But I want you, to, you, at the end, tell your own stories. Tell us about yourself. I think uh, that would be great. Uh, um, I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't know how much to do today, to but uh, if you're willing to hang around, you can hang around, you can, if you wanna talk to each other, we can talk. Um, if you wanna have questions individually, you can come to me. And one other thing, uh, I'm gonna try to uh, end a little bit. Thank you.